what we're kind of doing is just kind of telling your story, yep. you know, how we met Ben, thoughts, feelings, and maybe how if you had a chance to reach out to other people that maybe yeah. went through the same thing. Yep. Because that's going to be, um, that's going to be huge, man. Yeah. Like, the amount of people this will help is yeah, and astronomical. That's, yep, and that's why I was like, that's why I want to do it. It's hard, but. Yeah. Yep. <clears throat> My name's Scott Knapp. Uh, I live in Buffalo, Wyoming. Six months ago, my 14-month-old uh, son passed away in his sleep. Um, it's weird. I, uh, I just want people to know about my son. I want him to know who he is. And, uh, sweet little boy. Always smiling and laughing. And, oh, he was just so sweet. Welcome back. We haven't done an intro for this video, so here's your intro. Uh, if you guys watched last year's bear hunt, hopefully you did. If not, go click down below to watch our bear hunt. We're back with our good buddy, Mr. Ben Rogers, Stone Mountain Outfitters. Um, we came in here last year with uh, Luke from Weatherby, Draper, who is from uh, Peterson's Hunting Magazine, Benny O'Brien, Ben Rogers, and myself came in here for like six days last year, killed three bears, and we're back at it. So uh, we're just getting the horses ready. We're gonna pack up there. How many, my, five, five miles, four miles? Yeah, four. Four yeah. miles, um, get there tonight, and then tomorrow's the season open. So uh, I wanna kill a big bear this year, really bad. And uh, there's big bears in here, so cross your fingers. If you have leather gloves on, it's kind of harder, but try it. Anyway, back to horse stuff. Guys, welcome to camp. We made her. Looks like we might have made it just before the rainstorm coming in. Trying to get all the horses unloaded. Gonna set up uh, ten or two, and then uh, it's gonna be, gonna be re relaxing and maxing, you know, relax to the max, however you want to say it. A beautiful ride in here, though. Gorgeous country. Uh, horses performed flawlessly. And, uh, we're gonna enjoy ourselves. I'm gonna start with one, I think. A crispy bun with a brat. On a camp chef? On a camp chef? We're living life. Wonder what all the rich people are doing tonight. I'd say probably not enjoying their, their night like we are. Just like that guy's. First night in bear camp. Uh, it's hard to beat this place. We're gonna eat some hot dogs, have some, have some laughs, tell some stories. The nice thing about bear camp is bear hunting's not great in the morning. So you can wake up whenever you want. We have turkey tags in our pocket. Brought a shotgun up here. Last year when we came up here, if you guys haven't watched the video, go watch it right now. We had turkeys gobbling all over. So uh, I think we're gonna go chase some turkeys around in the morning and then uh, go ride the horses into a bear bait tomorrow afternoon. It's hard to beat this. Is this real life? This is real life. I'm gonna go eat a broth. Hard wood. So what are, you, what are you doing exactly? Clearing that snow off so we can set another tent up here. Figure we clear this off, let it sit for a couple hours in the sun and be golden. Well, I guess it's about time we start this uh, video. I, we started the video. This is day one of hunting though. Season opened this morning. We didn't go out. Typically bear hunting pretty slow in the morning. So 
We had some camp chores to do. Uh, Mr. Ben Rogers had to go back down to the trailhead and pick up two new hunters um, that joined us in camp now. And uh, while he was gone, we set up, successfully set up a uh, wall tent. Well, we'll see if it was successful, if it makes it through the night. So, um, set up a wall tent, uh, went and checked the bear bait, cooked some soup on, on the fire. Now it's about 3, 3 p.m. We're getting ready to ride out. Me and Logan are gonna go sit on a bait. Um, ben Rogers always says, oh, it's about a mile. He says it's about a mile up this trail. It's probably like two and a half, three, but uh, we're gonna take the horses, getting them saddled up, gonna ride up and go sit on the bait for the first time this year. Pretty excited about it. You gonna kill a bear tonight? I think someone, we have four hunters in camp right now. I think someone's killing the bear. Maybe multiple. Could happen. Could happen, should happen. See you at the bait. See you at the bait. So day one, bear camp, bear hunt. We're headed to the bait site right now. We got a little bit of a hike and once we get in there, we'll get nice and settled and wait and see what the evening brings. And hopefully we get a nice big old black boar coming in and put the Weatherby 65300 on it. And now it's time to go kill a bear. Thank 
attention in our direction. We got everything set up, camera on, got the gun on him, and he had no idea, so it was a good run through. We, we call those run throughs. But we'll wait and see. Hopefully, uh, he was nervous because there's a big giant brewing somewhere. Yesterday, after my after your two trips, up. after my double trip, yeah. We ate soup. We ate soup. <laughs> <laughs> soup, soup. Soup for lunch. Thanks, Scott. That's what I wanted. <laughs> Put the soup, Wait, soup, soup shots here. Yeah. It is day two of the bear hunt. Uh, yesterday was the opener. We had a good night. We saw a good bear, a nice bear. Um, Scott's never shot a bear. Nope. By the way, guys, this is Scott, Dan. Uh, good buddies of Ben, so we just met him this year at this hunt. Yeah. And uh, I did decide not to shoot that bear last night, and but Scott, I think would be super stoked. He's a nice bear. It's a great bear. So I think you guys are gonna go up and try to kill that bear. Tonight. Yeah, that's the plan. So yeah. hopefully it comes back in. And I think, yeah, we, that bear came in like three or four times last night. I think it's gonna come back. Anyway, guys, we ate some soup for lunch. Thank you. Um, just getting the horses saddled up, and we're gonna roll on out of here. We're, we're going to go sit on the bait they sat on last night, which is called camp bait. It's only a couple hundred yards down the down the hill. Um, you guys haven't seen anything last night, but... We think one came in, but winded us. Smelled you. Yep. Hopefully the thermals will be a little better. Uh, are you going to be stoked when you kill that bear tonight? Oh, jacked. I'm yeah. I'm excited. It'll be... It's getting my blood pumping already. So. By far, <laughs> way bigger than my first bear. I yeah. Well, yeah, it'll be a PR for me. PR? Yep. That's what we're going for. Yeah, PR. Is up PR. Here. Anyway, I just want to introduce these guys because they're going to be doing some videos. So we're going to use uh, Dan's footage. Dan's a professional photographer, it. by the way. Dan little, Towsley. A little newer to, yeah, we'll link your Instagram accounts here, but Sweet. a little newer to the videography stuff. Yes. That's very similar, right? Yeah, so we'll see. We'll see what happens, but hopefully we get the shot for you guys. And just Scott loving. makes the right shot. Overlay <laughs> some of Dan's photos he's taken already on this trip drop, right now. Drop, drop the photos. It. I was blown away. I told Logan we're gonna have a photo off one of these days. Logan against Dan. What about a video off? <laughs> well, no. We're, yeah, we know who's taking that. I don't want to go one. against the we giant. We know who's taking that. One. That's you, Logan. <laughs> <laughs> well, cool. Let's and do it. We have deer eating 
baked beans behind us. <laughs> Just a gassy deer in camp's never good. <laughs> Uh, my name's Scott Knopp. Uh, I live in Buffalo, Wyoming. Stonemason by trade, uh, hobbyist outdoorsman. Moved to Wyoming 11 years ago after I got married. Uh, that's when I met uh, Ben Rogers of Stone Mountain Outfitters through his dad. Um, known the family the whole time we've been out here the last 11 years. Great guy, I would call Ben uh, the quintessential mountain man. Tough as nails, but the dude has a heart of gold, just like his dad. So I've known Ben Rogers for probably four or five years now, and uh, literally in my phone I have Ben Rogers and his company name is Badass. So Ben is a man of uh, many talents, but he's definitely a guy that lives in the woods. And uh, I've always loved that about Ben, but one, some, one thing I've just start, started learning is Ben has an absolute giant heart. I'm here on this hunt. Uh because of that heart of gold. Six months ago, um, my 14-month-old uh, son <clears throat> passed away in his sleep. Um, I can't begin to describe 
the pain and the hurt, um, it's excruciating. It's weird. I, uh, I just want people to know about my son. I want him to know who he is. He's wonderful. Always smiling and laughing. And, oh, he was just so sweet. That's That was Redding. He loved his sister and Paisley loved him so much. We still love him. Um, when Ben heard about it, um, well, I ran into him on the job site and said, hey, I want to do something for you. I think I got something pretty cool lined up for you. So I am Ben Rogers. I um, run Stone Mountain Outfitters here in Wyoming. We are up here at our backcountry camp hunting bear. So with Scott, Scott's one of the hardest working, biggest hearted people I've ever met. And when when all this happened to Scott and his family, it it, it hit me in a different way because we got a new, new daughter and it, it made me look at the whole picture for Scott and, it hit me pretty hard. <laughs> and that was when I contacted you guys and I was like, hey, would you guys be willing to come out and hunt with Scott? And, and you guys were like, heck yeah, we're all in. So I was like, right on, that's super cool. Which says a lot about you guys. Um, so this has been, must have been last December, I got a text from Ben and uh, he told me a story of a guy he knows really well from over where he lives in Sheridan. Um, told me the story about Scott and his wife and uh, their boy uh, they lost their boy to SIDS um, at 14 months old and uh, I have four kids of my own and I can't imagine <clears throat> having to go through something like that you know you have kids and you hope for the best for them you want to see them grow and find successes and uh, I can't imagine what they must have been going through, but what Ben wanted to do was, he said obviously Scott was having a hard time, and so he wanted to surprise Scott with a hunt, a bear hunt, and just take him out and uh, get him out in the woods, kind of away from it, and, um, and asked if we wanted to be a part of it, and uh, me and Logan jumped at the chance to come up here and meet Scott and hang out with him and hopefully capture a cool piece to show you guys, but also for him and his family. Um, but this hunt's been about so much more than just killing bears and really about more than just being in the woods. It's, uh, I just feel like letting a fellow sportsman know that uh, we're here for him and uh, kind of embrace him. And uh, I think we made, made a lifelong friend, Scott, and his good buddy, Dan. And so this hunt's been amazing and it's been fun to spend time in the woods. It's just kind of letting a fellow sportsman know that we're, we're here and We've, we said it, we've always said it, that uh, the hunting community is the best community, and it really is. Um, our great friends at Weatherby got Scott a hush rifle before he, we came out on this hunt, and uh, Scott was able to harvest his first bear with that gun. And then I, I, I just like help, helping people out, helping them get past, giving them something to look forward to. So I we got all this set up, and then I went to Scott, and I was like, hey, you want to go bear hunting this spring? To me, it just it, it hit me in a way that I didn't think it would hit me and it I got pretty emotional and it, it I don't know it just made me feel like it was the right thing to do and it turned out with Scott killing a fantastic bear and great time in camp and this trip has been the lead up to it giving me something to kind of look forward to again a chance to get back out in the mountain I love being on the mountain it's where I feel closest to the Lord my faith is so important to me and just spending this time up here in the mountain in prayer and quiet time and with awesome friends and getting up here has been uh, really, really good. Uh, when I came on this bear hunt, I didn't, I mean obviously you come on a bear hunt, you want to shoot a bear, but I came for the time with friends to kind of embrace the love and support of friends that are helping me through this, but yeah, I wanted to shoot a bear. And before I left, my daughter came up to me and handed me this little bear. And this bear is, I gave this to Redding for Christmas. This ended up being the only present that I picked out and got for him just for me. Paisley 
grabbed this for me and said, you should bring this on your bear hunt. And uh, so I've had it with me this whole time. <sighs> and when I shot that bear, and I had this, I knew this bear was in my pack and we walked up to him in his coat. It's almost identical in color to this. And it's just, I know it's silly, but man, it just, no, oh, it just means so much. And I feel like, you know, he's with me and I feel like I can connect with him when I'm out here with doing this kind of stuff. And it just meant so much to me that I felt like I could take him with me. And I just always hold my children and my wife and my heart when I'm in the woods. And it's been really special. That's awesome. Well, Scott, you're freaking cool, dude. Ugh. Thanks for doing that, buddy. Oh, thank you, guys. That's an important story to tell, man. I'm glad you did it. Tell us what you did, Scott. Well, rolled the bear. I rolled him. We were sitting here. Great weather all night. Saw some elk come through, and then all of a sudden it just started sprinkling and turning crap, and I was thinking it was going to end our hunt for the night. And right about quarter after eight, Dan spotted a bear in the woods in the edge of the tree line. And we just kind of watched him come out and he just barely didn't clear a tree and then went back behind it. So we came here and just kind of butt shuffled to the right a little bit. Got on him and it was about 170 yard shot. And we're gonna go see if it was a good one. It felt good. I'm shaking. Yes. <laughs> All right, Scott. What's what's the situation now? Uh, well, we are going down to the bait site, which is where the bear was. When we shot him, we're gonna go see if we can recover this bad boy. Uh, might wait for Ben. He is the outfitter and the professional, and the bear ran into the woods. We just wanna be safe. Yeah, we looked at the video. Definitely a hit. Uh, can you tell, is that you come in a conclusion because of the, uh, the tumble? The tumble, yes. <laughs> there was a tumble, and so... I didn't think bears normally ran like that, no, so we figured I've, it was a hit. I've never seen one run and drag its butt and then tumble. But yeah, I'm still like, whew. Hell yeah, buddy. <laughs> oh, man, I'm like, I am, uh, I'm speechless. I'm pretty emotional this hunt's meant, uh, everything that happened, <clears throat> happened with my son. I've been looking forward to this and just getting out of the woods and... God, I just, man, I'm just so thankful for uh, wonderful friends that love you through some really hard crap. Oh, congrats. Get your hands on the thing. Yeah. <laughs> I can't believe it. Uh, I was having some personal doubts of, uh, with rain coming in, if anything was going to come in, and I, uh, man, I was saying some prayers and just spending some time in personal reflection and stuff, and Dan just goes, hey, there's a bear in the woods and now there's a bear in the woods dead <laughs> <laughs> so thank you so much um i really i truly can't overstate how much this means to me and how much this experience has meant to me and given me uh some hope you know when i was in a pretty pretty dark spot yeah couldn't have for a better person oh well i i i accept that with a lot of humility i feel pretty blessed uh for all the people in my life that have been really looking out for me and holding me up. And I hope I hope one day I don't have to, but if I ever have to, I hope I can do that in return for somebody. But I just thank you so much. Ben Rogers, Stone Mountain Outfitters, and fantastic hunt, fantastic trip. I can't wait to hang out for the next couple days. And if you're looking for a bear hunt, Stone Mountain in Wyoming, it's, it's the place to go, man. Awesome experience. Thank right. you so much. Thank you. You bet. We are just wrapping up an absolutely amazing trip. One of my favorite trips I've been on in a long time. Um, literally met these guys, Dan and Scott, five days ago at the trailhead. And over the course of five days, are we best friends? Yes. We're, we're best friends. Uh, we got to enjoy some amazing hunting, um, but really just amazing time in the woods is what this trip was all about. You know, every trip's different. And uh, for me, man, I took away a lot from this trip. And uh, hopefully you guys did as well. Yes, for Good. sure. Like you come in, 
on a trip like this with some pretty high expectations and I'm amazed at how much this trip has exceeded those expectations. It's been, it's been freaking awesome. Mm. Yeah. Anyways, guys, thank you as always for watching. Uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed this. Um, it was a little bit different, but uh, definitely, uh, like I said, one of my favorite trips I've done in a long time. And now we're hiking out to the truck. I don't care about social media followers or any of that. I hope I never have to talk to anyone who ever goes through something like this. But the sad reality is, is that there are people going through hard times like this. And if you're going through anything like this, do not hesitate to reach out. Message me. You can DM me. We can talk on the phone. I don't care. Um, if you need someone to talk to, don't hesitate to reach out.